All right, so today I'm gonna install a part of the four link setup so I can get that done before I uh, uh, rust encapsulate the underside and um, do redo the undercoating. Uh, these are the brackets I'm going to be installing. Those are the rear bag mounts, shock mounts, and those are the, the front um, pivot points. Check out that pile of undercoating I ground off. So yeah, let's get at it. All right, so today I'm gonna start removing the front um, leaf spring brackets. I need to remove those because these go in their spot. This is the part of the forelink. Once I remove those, these get bolted up to it. And then towards where the bump stop is for the rear axle, this piece goes there. It gets bolted up to it. So I have to drill out um, some spot welds and a lap weld, I'll show you that. I have to drill out the spot welds and then there's some welds, lap welds here. So I'm probably gonna start by drilling out the spot welds and then I'll try to cut these welds off. We'll see how uh, how difficult it is. I think there's just four. I think I see four. I don't know if there's one in the middle. There might be one there, but for sure there's four. So here's one side out. There is uh, five holes. One, two, three, four, five, and then it was welded. Welded here, here, and then on the, the front portion here. So I have both of the uh, both the brackets cut off here. Both brackets. Um, if you look at under the underside, you can see I cleaned them up so that the the bracket would fit on there. Okay. Same with this side. I cleaned it up, wire wheeled it, and then ground it. Um, ground all the welds and the rest of this stuff off and then this is where the other ones go the other pieces that one and then here so now I have to take the the pieces and clamp them clamp them up to this so then I can mark my holes that I have to drill out there's so there's eight eight holes I have to drill into this and then eight, I have to drill into this side. And then there's two on this one, and then two on that one. So these are the brackets that go on the, uh, the leaf spring mounts. This one goes on that side, and then this one goes on the other side. So I have to drill out two, and then two, but I have to clamp them up first and make sure they, they fit so I can mark my holes and then go from there.
All right, so now I have all the holes marked. Now I just gotta try to drill them. Um, I'm gonna try like a smaller drill as like a pilot and then come back through and ream them open for two, three eighths. So we'll see how that works, but that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so I didn't video it, but I ended up um, drilling out the all the holes I needed to drill out. I ended up doing a pilot pilot drill and then I came back with a 3 8 and then drilled them out. That worked way, way better. Um, the Surprisingly, drilling up were the easy holes, but drilling the side ones, it was hard to get enough leverage to drill them out. But I have both, both sides done. There's the other side. And then I ended up going back through and doing a bunch of uh, doing a bunch of undercoating, stripping, which took me a good couple hours. I went through and tried to finish getting the last of it off. Because after I, after I drill out all these holes, um, I plan on uh, getting it ready to undercoat it before I install the four link because I want to be able to I want to be able to uh, clean it up good and have it uh, rust proofed and then I'll paint it with the rust encapsulator and then undercoat it. Um, I plan on masking masking off areas and just uh, rust encapsulating and then undercoating around it just so I don't have undercoating on these mounting points. Um, both sides. I still have to do the, the rear bag shock mount. Um, that goes here on both sides. I'm going to uh, work on doing that today. Alright, so I have everything mocked up, um, bolts put in, they're not tightened down, they're just put in place. I have the 8 there, this one, 
the two, this one, the eight, and then this one, the two. So that's pretty much all I had to do um, as far as mounting, just putting those on. So I already have all the bolts in position, so I just wanted to do that before I did the undercoating. So yeah, glad I knocked that out. Of so that's done. On to the next thing. All right, so I forgot to film an ender on the last video, so I want to film that now. Um, thanks everybody for watching. A little teaser for the uh, next video. Finally got around to doing the other underside, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.